Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition. I am running the latest version of Minecraft Java, which is 1.17.1. Optifine actually released a recent update, which is the preview version. So we're going to try and install that. And today I'm going to show you how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. And as you can see, I am running some shaders and the water looks really nice and so does the game itself. Obviously Optifine is a shaders mod which allows us to install shader packs as well. So if I go into my options, video settings, shaders, you can see I've got a couple of shaders here and I can change them if I wanted to. And I can also go into the shader options and change the profiles for those shaders as well. So yeah, Optifine really does give us some good flexibility for these shaders. So I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Optifine. And I'm also going to show you how to download and install the shader pack as an example as well. So you can get your, your game running with Optifine and a shader pack. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do before you actually download or install Optifine, it's to actually download and install Java. So if you go to your internet browser and just start typing in Java JDK 16, and if we go to the first link, which is this one, and if we scroll down, and I will leave a link in the description so you don't have to go around searching for all of these files, and if we download the Windows X64 installer, because I am running Windows, so let's click on that link and start downloading the Java JDK 16 version. All right, so as you can see, the Java JDK 16 file is finished downloading. Uh, let's close this down and let's go and search for Optifine now. And click on the first link that it pops up with. So it's normally the Optifine.net website, which is the main Optifine website. And if we click on the downloads link over here, you can see it does say Minecraft version 1.17.1 which is the current latest release of Minecraft Java Edition. So if we click on this preview versions link here, you can see that the latest release was actually released on the 23rd of July, and that is yesterday, and it is the pre-31 version of the preview version. So if we click on change log, let's have a look at what's changed. So at the moment it says it's not compatible with Forge, which is understandable because Forge is actually not out yet for version 1.17.1. But as you guys can see, they have actually fixed quite a lot of stuff with the shaders and some other fixes as well. So let's go back and let's download this latest version. I'm going to click on Mirror because I found that this is actually a quicker way of downloading it. So let's wait for that to finish downloading. Let's click on Keep File. There we go. So that has finished downloading. It's going to do a couple of scans in the background. So let's close this down and finally we need a shader pack for the example so i'm going to actually use silders shaders so i'm going to type in silders shaders in my search bar click on the first link which is this one which is silders shaders.github.io this is the author's main website to download the shader pack from click on downloads and if i click on the most highest version of the shader pack which is the extreme volumetric lighting version it's going to come up with this add focus link so just wait for this a couple of seconds and then we can click on the skip button and start the download so this is the uh, media fire link obviously and let's click on download to start downloading that okay so as you guys can see it's finished downloading all of the three files that we require so i'm going to put these on my desktop and i'm going to show you how to install them Okay, so as you guys can see, I've placed all of these files on my desktop. So we're going to start with Java JDK and install that. So let's double click on this. All right, so as you guys can see, I am getting a message that says the software has already been installed on your system. So would you like to reinstall this? I'm going to click on yes to, just to show you guys what it looks like when it installs. Click on next, click on next. And now it says Java SDK 16 has been successfully installed. So let's click on close. And let's move this out of the way. So now we can focus on installing the preview build of Optifine. And this is the pre-31 version for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. So because we've got Java installed, and this is why I said it's really important to install Java, because now it makes our lives so much easier. Now we can right-click on this jar file for Optifine, hover over where it says open with, and then select 
where it says Java Platform SE Binary and it should open up the installer. As you guys can see, it's showing me the installer. If you guys do run into any problems with running the installer, do let me know in the comment section below and I will try and help you guys to get this installed properly on your system. Okay, so let's click on install and let's wait for that to finish. Okay, so now it says Optify and is successfully installed. Click on OK and we can move this out of the way. Now let's open up the launcher. So when the launcher opens, you will notice at the bottom left here, it does say Optify. And if I click on installations, it will show you a list of different installations that we've got installed on our Minecraft release, which is the latest release, 1.17.1. So as you can see, it says Optify for version 1.17.1. So if I click on this folder icon over here, it should open up the Minecraft directory. And there should be a folder in this directory called shader packs. Now, if you don't have this for any reason, just right click on an empty space anywhere here, click on new, click on folder, and then rename it to shader packs. So let's go into this folder. So as you guys can see, I've already got a few of the shaders in here. And all we need to do is just place the Silders Vibrant Shaders zip file into this folder. There we go. So if you do have a shader pack file, which is in zip format, just place it in the shader packs folder. All right, let's close this down. Now, let's go back to the launcher. And if we hover over Optifine, we can click on play. Alternatively, you can come into the play section here. Make sure Optifine is selected in the drop down and then hit the play button here. So let's open that. Let's click on this link here, which says, I understand the risks. Don't warn me about this and click on play. And just wait for that to load up. All right, so as you guys can see at the bottom left there, it does say Minecraft version 1.17.1 modded. And if we go to options, click on video settings, and then you should have a button here that says shaders. So we know Optifine has been installed. Click on shaders, and then we can select our newly installed shader pack. So the one that we downloaded was this one, which is Silder's Vibrant Shaders. So click on that, click on done. And now we can actually go back into our world. So let's go into the world that we went before. There we go. And as you guys can see, Silder's shaders has been installed and it looks really amazing. And it's all thanks to Optifine and the combination of shaders alongside Optifine looks so cool. And everything just looks so amazing and it runs quite well. If we want to change the shader packs, we can go into video settings, click on shaders. And let's select BSL shaders as well. Click on done. There we go. So as you can see now, I'm running BSL shaders and it looks really cool as well. I also do like this shader pack. I think it's one of the top three shader packs in my list. And the good thing about Optifine is that you can actually configure the shader options. So if you go into video settings, click on shaders, you can click on any of the shaders and then the bottom right here, it says shader options. Click on that. So you can choose your profiles. You can dive deeper into the individual settings and change them around. So there's so much to play with here and you guys can tweak it as much as you like. So yeah, this is how we can install Optifine for our Minecraft Java edition and get it running. So hopefully by the end of this video, you should be able to download and install Optifine on your Minecraft Java edition version 1.17.1. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. And if you have any comments or queries or any problems with installing Optifine, please do leave them in the comment section below. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.